Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Lifescaping Health Transformation Sessions. So this week, you're going to get the scoop on poop. No kidding, this is a bit of an odd subject. Not something you're used to talking about, but in my profession, making sure your body is processing the foods you eat properly and eliminating the waste is top priority. If your body can't extract all the nutrients it needs from the foods you eat and can't get rid of the waste, then your chances of improving your health are severely limited. So that means you're going to learn a little bit about how to read your stool. You need to understand how important it is for your body to properly eliminate all your waste in a regular, consistent, and easy fashion. And this should be happening once or twice a day. The reason for good bowel health is simple. If your body is processing foods too quickly, it doesn't have a chance to completely break it down. That limits your ability to absorb all the nutrients from that food. If you tend to be plagued by diarrhea, you may have an intolerance to a specific food that you're eating. In this case, it might be helpful to try an elimination diet where you stop eating certain foods for a period of time and see if the problem resolves. Keep in mind, diarrhea can be very serious. The first thing you need to do is have your doctor assess you for any underlying medical concerns. If it turns out you don't have some strange bacteria lurking in there, then we can help with identifying food intolerances. Now, if you find your system is challenged the other way where it's overly sluggish and tends towards constipation, this means your body is holding onto the digestive waste too long. This will naturally cause it to overprocess the waste and start reabsorbing things like toxins and estrogens back into your system. This is not good. These things are meant to be flushed. You want to be clearing out your bowels at least once a day. If your constipation is chronic, you need to see a nutritionist to get to the root of the problem. Chronic constipation is often an indicator of an imbalance in your gut bacteria. Whether you struggle with loose bowels or constipation, increasing the fiber content in your diet is a great way to start getting yourself regular. This can easily be accomplished by taking one or two teaspoons of either psyllium or ground flax seed every day. Either one can be mixed with any of your meals. Always make sure to drink a lot of water on top of these, otherwise they can bound you up even more. Pay attention to flax seed. Some people don't tolerate it as much. If it makes you feel bloated, stick to the psyllium. You don't have to take the flax. If fiber isn't quite enough to get you going, you can try magnesium citrate at bedtime. This type of magnesium is a natural laxative. You can take it to bowel tolerance, which means take as much as you need to make you go to the washroom. So start with uh, about 600 milligrams at bedtime. If you don't go to the washroom the next morning, add another 150 milligrams, so 750 the next night, and so on, until you find the amount that works for you. If constipation is a chronic issue, it can take a long time to fix, and this is usually done by repairing the gut. But the purpose of this talk today is to help those of you that normally don't have a problem, but phase two is giving you a little bit of a challenge. So how do you know what your stool should look like in order to be healthy? Well, believe it or not, there's actually a medical chart for this. Yep. It's called the Bristol Stool Chart, and I've included a copy of it in your handout. And yes, I want you to review this chart and then compare your stool to the examples. This might seem a little funny to you now, but it will tell you where you're at and what you need to do to fix it. On the handout, you'll get more information about the Bristol Stool Chart and how to follow it. Something else you may want to keep in mind is how to naturally sit when having a bowel movement. Back in the days when there were no toilets, humans would squat to have a bowel movement. Don't mess with nature. Squatting is the natural way. Buy yourself a toilet squat stool, like the one you see on this picture here, and start using it so that uh, you're in the right position. Bowel movements are a window to your health. If in the long run you can reach good bowel health while eating a wholesome diet, you can be pretty sure that your health is on its way to being optimal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week. Pay a little more attention to your stool. I'll share a bread recipe that can help with getting enough fiber in your diet. It's a very simple recipe that takes about 10 minutes from start to finish. 
I like having it once a week and taking psyllium for the other six days. Don't forget to drink at least one eight ounce glass of water with your choice of fiber so that you don't make yourself worse. Without water, fiber can turn into a hard, bulky stool, so the problem just worsens. Your takeaway this week is to print the chart and pay attention to your stool. Does it need fixing? So take care, have fun, choose to be happy, and I'll see you next week.